I recently got the Fujifilm X-S10 and it's serving me really well as a photography camera but also as a videography and vlogging camera. And I'm really enjoying the log profile footage that's coming out of the Fujifilm X-S10. For those who don't know what log footage is, it's just a video capture format that squishes the color and the exposures of your video captures, helping you preserve the details of whatever it is that you are trying to capture, which you can then edit in post-production to get the colors or the color profile of your choice. This makes it a really flexible format for videographers. Fuji's log profile does this really well and after playing around with it, I can say that it's really easy to grade and it's really fun to play around with. But do we really need it? This is what we're testing out today. Why I even ask if we need Fuji log profiles or F logs? Because Fujifilm cameras actually come with really good color science straight out of the camera. They call this feature film simulations. This gives shooters options for the colors or the kind of footage they want to shoot in straight out of the camera. I tested out a few today like Provia, which is their more standard film simulation, Velvia, their more vivid or saturated film simulation, Eterna. Eterna Film Simulation, which they call their more cinematic look, and Eterna Beach, Bleach, Beach, and Eterna Beach, Eterna Bleach, and Eterna Bleach Bypass, which is their more washed out and more contrasty look. I have been shooting with Fuji cameras for a while now, but with my new XS10, I have been able to finally shoot with the Eterna and the Eterna Beach Bleach Bypass film simulations. That's that just, just gonna stay in the footage. My favorite film simulation is actually the Velvia or the more vivid, saturated look. A lot of people are also big fans of the Eternal look. Fujifilm is also aware that people like the Eternal look, so this is probably why they came out with this LUT pack wherein you could grade your log footage as if it were captured on the Eterna film. Now I am thinking that Fuji does a really good job with their color science, so much so that I don't really need to edit my footage straight out of the camera whenever I use these film simulations. A big benefit though of shooting in log is that it helps preserve the dynamic range of whatever it is that you're trying to shoot. Like what I said, it helps you squish the footage, colors, and exposures. But Fujifilm also offers a dynamic range modifier up to 400% which kind of helps preserve the highlights and the shadows, the exposures of your shots. So do we still need to shoot in log? Now I am a big nerd with color grading my footage, having to take the time to really get into the colors of my footage, but having compared side by side the log footage with the film simulation footage, it really gets me thinking if I really need to shoot in log or if I can just shoot in one of these film simulations. I mean, they come out really pretty out of the camera and often straight out of the camera I don't have to do much editing with the colors or with the contrast they just come out really good. A main benefit of not having to color grade my footage is that it's an extra step I can take out of my workflow which saves a lot of time. So back to the question, do we really need to shoot in log? And I think the answer is for majority of people who just want to do vlogs, watch my vlogs. The Fujifilm simulations are definitely sufficient. But for people doing professional work or for people who like playing around with the colors or for people looking for a very specific look, F-Log or Fujilog still provides a very flexible format to shoot in. That's it for today's video. If you found this video informative, hit that subscribe button. I'm doing a lot of videos this December, so please check that out. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.